Hey everyone, this is a quick rundown of the Mid Journey updates from May. The biggest news last month was the release of the new Omni Reference feature, or OREF, which can be used with the V7 model. Unlike Character Reference in V6, which is primarily used for character consistency, Omni Reference can be used with characters, objects, scenes, logos, and more. On the website, make sure that you have V7 selected in your settings. Then you can drag an image up to the prompt bar and drop it here where it says Omni Reference. There is an Omni Weight Parameter dash dash OW which can help you control how similar the results are to your reference. I have a detailed video covering Omni Reference that I'll link below where I share a lot of examples and tips. You can use Omni Reference for multiple characters, which I also cover in that video. It's sort of a hack use of the existing feature. The Midjourney team has been working on a way to better enable multiple consistent references, but it's not quite working as well as they had hoped yet. It's not clear if they'll be able to release it as part of a future V7 update or if it will get pushed to V8. Next, we have some more V7 updates to talk about. Fast mode was enabled for V7. They also deployed multiple speed improvements throughout the month, making V7 about 40% faster than it was previously. There are new quality modes, Q2 and Q4, that you can test out. The default quality value is 1. Using a higher value means that Midjourney will take more time and effort to create your images, which can result in more detailed, higher quality results. Q2 and Q4 jobs do cost more, so if you're in fast or turbo mode, you'll want to keep an eye on your GPU hours. A V7 upscaler is back to being very unlikely, so we'll probably have to wait until V8 for that. A new SREF and mood board system is expected to be released next week. They've said that it looks really good, is better quality, and is much more accurate. They're also working on a style explorer, which will help us all explore the available SREF codes more easily. There is at least one more aesthetics release planned for V7 and a small chance there could be a 7.1 release depending on how some of their experiments go. V7 will become the default model any day now, after which they'll take a few months to prepare for the V8 release. For more tips on getting the most out of V7, check out my V7 tips video. And if you feel like you've missed out on some of the many updates that have happened in the last two months, you can check out my previous monthly wrap up. There was a small update to the editor after Midjourney received community feedback. Now when you open an image and click edit, you'll be taken into a more simplified version of the editor that looks similar to the previous basic editor. You can change aspect ratio, erase, and change your prompt. You can also rotate your image now by hovering and then clicking and dragging near a corner of the image. At the moment, there is a small bug where if you rotate your image in this basic editor, that rotation is not reflected in the results. Rotate does, however, work in the full editor, so if you need to rotate your image, you'll want to go into the full editor by clicking Open in Edit tab, where you can also access the Layers and Retexture features. Clicking the X up here will take you back to your starting image. You can also use the Vary and Upscale buttons from here, but I'm not sure why you might want to do that in this view. If you make edits over here, including changing the aspect ratio and then click Vary or Upscale, those changes over here are ignored. Vary and Upscale are only going to work on images that have already been created, so I think having those buttons here is a bit confusing. Midjourney will begin a video model testing phase with their guides and mods next week. Text to video and image to video are both working well, but they still need to do some optimization passes. They've said that quality, motion, and overall aesthetics are looking really good. The first video model will be pretty bare bones when it comes out, but they plan to add more features over time. They will try to have different quality levels, speeds, and resolutions. The overall goal is for video to be accessible to all subscription plans, but the cost per video in terms of GPU hours will vary depending on the settings. They will have some small video rating parties soon, which should be interesting. So if you want to participate in the final stages of their video model development, keep an eye out on their official announcements. They have new servers coming online over the next few weeks, which will probably be needed before video can launch. Video will likely be launched without relax mode until they get a handle on how much compute is needed for everyone. Midjourney expects to release their first video model this month. If you want to help suggest and prioritize what features Midjourney works on next, check out their updated voting system at midjourney.com ideas where you can also view the leaderboard and see what people are asking for most. That's it for our May roundup. Be sure to check out my Omni Reference and V7 tips videos. And if you found this update helpful, please consider liking, subscribing, and maybe even joining my Patreon community where I share monthly prompt collections and mid-journey guides. 
As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.